today's lecture i am going to discuss about electric circuit about electric circuit okay uh, this is uh, chapter 9 electric circuit and current electricity for class 8 science what's in us we are discussing this topic we need to know about electrical circuit that we are going to draw some electrical circuit by applying some simple tools okay so let's start electric circuit say boys and girls electric circuit is the main keyword of electricity that is the complete path of electricity say boys and girls this is a resistance these are the connecting wire this electrical cell and then this uh, key or switch then this is electrical wire so i can say that this point a this point b electrical cell is electromotive force or battery or battery or cell this b and switch is known as key k this is a complete path is it a complete path no it's not a complete path this is a disconnected switch if i connect this switch if i connect this switch then there is a complete path so since this is a complete path of electricity so this path is called circuit so when you uh, when you make a complete path when you see the poles that can say that that complete path is known as electric circuit so electric circuit is nothing but by singles electric circuit is nothing but the complete path of electricity the complete path of electricity now by singles the definition of circuit is the complete complete path of electricity is called is called electric circuit so electric circuit means the complete path of electricity okay now we need to draw electrical circuit so before drawing electrical circuit we need to know about some tools of electrical circuit so in next step we are going to discuss about some tools tools of electric circuit okay now boys and girls in this circuit you see at first i am drawing this zigzag path and this zigzag path is nothing but is called resistance so resistance at first name then symbol then symbol in circuit then symbol in circuit circuit okay so so in first case i need to start resistance resistance you know boys and girls all you know that you see that the symbol of this resistance is capital r the symbol of this resistance is capital r so capital r this is the symbol of this resistance and the symbol in the circuit there is this is the symbol in the circuit boys and girls this resistance is called fixed resistance so in next step i am going to draw variable resistance that special the regulator real state those are called variable resistance so variable resistance 
variable resistance that is also capital R and the symbol is this is the symbol of variable resistance boys and girls this is the symbol of variable resistance so you can touch this point this is called jockey or this is just like a pain point uh, you can touch this point uh, jockey at this point at this point in a different point okay that's why this resistance is called variable resistance in next step we need some electric wire so these are the electric wire these are the electric wire so electric wire electric wire uh, there's a symbol specific symbol of electric wire but in the circuit a straight line is the symbol of electric wire and this is especially the disconnected electric wire especially the disconnected electric wire in next step uh, electric cell electric cell so cell and battery there is a difference in between them in next step electric battery electric battery there is a difference in between cell and battery cell is just like a cell of animal body this cell cell of plants body this cell but battery for the case of uh, animal or plants body battery is a concept just like tissue tissue means uh, some uh, collection of cell is called tissue so uh, battery just like that tissue is a collection of some cell or electrical cell so electrical cell is the unit of electric power electrical cell is the unit of electric power okay so cell is denoted by e battery is also denoted by e but cell is the just one positive term and another is negative side is a only one unit you see there are three unit here one two three this is the first unit is the second unit as the third unit there are three unit there and in between this three unit cell contain only one unit one is the larger arm is called positive terminal and the smaller arm is called negative terminal so this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal and the battery is combination of some cell is called battery so this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal in next step the very important things that is electric switch what that is electric switch so electric switch electric switch so electric switch is symbolized by key because key or switch those are the same thing key and switch those are the same property same thing okay electrical switch is normally symbolized by this tapping switch or this this connected path you can say that the tapping switch you can tap here and tap here so when you tap here this switch is on is connected when you do uh, uh, just uh, uh, this stage is called a uh, discovery stage or is also called uh, no electricity flows through this circuit or any kind of circuit okay now by using this instrument especially I'm going to use uh, here resistance here electric battery here switch and also electric wire boys and girls and also electric wire electric wire I need to I'm going to draw an electrical circuit here a very simple electrical circuit so the next step I'm going to draw 
a very simple electrical circuit okay so a simple electric circuit a simple electric circuit so simple electric circuit circuit and that is boys and girls at first this resistance resistance r this uh, positive terminal of the battery and this switch is connected with the resistance r this point is called point a and this coil is called point B, this battery, electromotive force E, and this switch that is K. First and girls, this is a very simple electric circuit. And in the battery, I can say that this is the positive terminal and this is a negative terminal. When I turn on this switch, then what is happening here? When I turn on this switch, then I can say that this positive terminal of the battery produces electric current. I repeat, produce electric current and also supply electric current. So, electric current flows in this direction. In this direction flows electric current, electric current first thing and second thing in this direction voltage flows remember in this path this is a convention and in this path boys and girls at first electric current flows secondly in this path electric voltage also flows and in this direction, boys and girls, in this direction, only negative charge, only negative charge, like electron, will flow. So I can say that in this path, electric current I flows through this direction electric current I flows through this direction okay so this is a positive terminal supply electric current and this electric current flows in this direction in this direction in this direction and finally at the end of this battery okay so boys and girls all of you thank you very much and keep watching